All right, everybody, today I am in Milwaukee, Oregon. I'm in a parking lot with a lot of recumbent riders as we are gathering and getting ready to ride. I have Nancy, Hello. and here's Jeannie, and a number of riders just left to go to the meetup point, so let's go see who is here. This is a Sunday ride and part of the Pacific Northwest Recumbent Cycling Group. There's a Facebook page and pretty much every Sunday a ride is posted. And anybody of course can come. And this ride is gonna be about 35 miles with a separate shorter route if 35 miles feels like a little bit too much. And uh, I think we're just going to go. And uh, so we're meeting at the Park Avenue Max station. And it looks like we've got a pretty nice group already within about 10 minutes to go before lunch. Morning, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yay, Yay. morning. How are you doing this morning? Fantastic. You your cup of Isn't coffee? this great? I got my coffee. I am ready to go. And we got two wheelers and three wheelers, some with assist and some without. So, yep, should be a great day for a bike ride. Let's go. Come on, Myrtle. Let's go. So we are getting ready to go. And Paul's going to do a little pre-ride talk. We've got 16 riders. 16 and a quarter with Luna. Uh, another important thing for those of us that are older. I won't say who. Uh, there is the first possible restroom break is right down here at the, uh, at the Milwaukee Boat ramp. boat ramp. The next possible one is uh, Oaks, Oaks Bottom Park. After that, you're pretty much on your own. Just That's all right. Choose your time. Don't dawdle. And uh, we'll all have a good time. Everybody ready? What? I think we'll let the fast ones kick off first. Oh, yeah. All right, meow, meow. Yeah. Okay, and we are off. Hopefully do it. And first we're going to be taking the trolley trail. <laughs> when given an opportunity, I, I think you should take it. And so I think the bathrooms are right here. And nobody else is here? Yeah. My God, that's incredible. Well, at least I won't have to wait for a bathroom. Okay, so I've used the bathroom. I'm back on the trail. And I don't know where everybody went, but I am trying to find them. I told a bunch of people that I was stopping to use the bathroom, so I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I'm not really seeing anybody. I got Jeannie caught up to me and hopefully we will catch up with the rest of the group and we're uh we're on a bike path going along uh the waverly neighborhood which is um really upscale so we're gonna come cut through here a little bit beautiful tree-lined streets Yeah, so this, uh, go through this lovely neighborhood and then it puts you right on an extension of the Springwater Corridor Trail. And this will take us right along the river. So another bathroom 
is supposed to be around Oaks Bottom, which is where we are. And so I'm kind of hoping that the group has is parked over here somewhere. Not really seeing anybody though. And when they gave the instructions, these are the only two bathrooms. I'm really not seeing anybody. Oh my gosh, I just made a bunch of phone calls. And finally I got a hold of Dave and he is waiting with a group at the steel bridge and so Jeannie and I are gonna put it pedal to the metal and get there as fast as we can hopefully meet up with the rest of the group oh there's a nice piano here a very very colorful road oh look at this there's a piano keyboard here this is pretty cool so now we're gonna take the floating esplanade this is a bridge or a path it's just on top of the river. And it can be bumpy. The uh, suspension on my Scorpion, it's fine. But without it, it can be quite jarring. So this is the steel bridge, which is a very busy bridge. It has a pedestrian path. You can see up on top, there's a max train going across. Cars can go across up there. And then down below, there's freight train and Amtrak. And I am not seeing anybody here, so I, I'm guessing they're on the other side. Yeah, let's go. No? And hopefully everybody's on this side because, uh, yeah, just hopefully. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, I found you guys. Amazing. Hello again. My God, all I did was stop to use the bathroom. And that was the end of that ride. <laughs> but it looks like I got the group back together. Oh, and we've actually got a couple of got a couple of stragglers. I know. So we're really close to the river, uh, but we're on uh, NATO Parkway, which has a really nice separated bike lane. Very safe. So you've got the bike lane, and then it's you can see they've got some cones, and then and then parking on the outside. So the bike lane is very very safe here. It's kind of a, a newer design that they've come up with in Portland to try to make it safer for bikers and walkers. All right, so we have been on Highway 30 for a few miles now and it's a bit noisy. Uh, and uh, there's enough room for the trikes for sure. But yeah, uh, there's so much debris on the side of the road. It's kind of a flat tire minefield and you kind of have to pay attention to Make sure you don't run over something that's going to give you a flat. But we're getting to the end. And in the distance, you can see the St. John's Bridge, and that's our, and that's where we're headed. Okay, we've made it to the top, and now we are going to go over the St. John's Bridge which I think is the most beautiful of all the Portland bridges. There's 11, 11 bridges across the 
Willamette River in Portland. There's probably many other bridges as well. See the city in the distance. Portland, downtown Portland in the distance. Well, seems like we've got a group waiting for us here. You guys found a nice shady spot? Oh, well, it seems to be a, a dwindling group. We started with uh, 16 people and what are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people now. So we're, oh, so we got. Jeff went that way to find some coffee. Oh, very good, very good. So, so we've just had a nice break at a food cart court. Look at all these bikes and trikes sitting out here. And now we're gonna head back to where we started. All this like jumble of trikes and bikes. And Jay's gonna go on his way, but check out Jay's bike. How cool is this? So we got the hand foot cycle. See if I can fall over. Right. <laughs> well, it's great riding with you, Jay. Take yeah. care. Okay. So we're gonna head on out and back to where we started now. Get our helmets back on. So we got some new infrastructure here that we're trying out for the first time. It's, it's pretty new. It's always fun when it's downhill too. Got lights with bikes on them. Woohoo, woohoo, bumpity bump. And look at this walking bridge with, uh, it's decorated, painted. Oh, and this is Adidas headquarters right here. So where are you going to be? I'm going to my house now. You're going to your house? Yeah. Okay, well, it's great riding with you. I love you, Yay, love you, Daddy. Right. Mm -hmm. the and Luna. All right, Patty is on the move. She is like herding the cats with her dog.
right, so I am back at the house. My trike is safely stowed in the garage. And, you know, I just wanted to end this uh, video by saying what a fabulous route that we had today. And my gosh, we had 17 riders, all different kinds of bikes and trikes, recumbent, upright, e-assist, non-assist. It was really, really fun to see everybody, ride with everybody. And there's a lot of people I hadn't seen in a long time. And there was something else that I wanted to address at the end of this video. And that was, um, I think we really need to think about how we handle the group rides, maybe um, put it on the agenda for the next meeting. This ride was put on by the Pacific Northwest Recumbent Cycling Group. It is a bona fide group. We have monthly meetings and last month's meeting was here at the house and I think uh, probably next month's meeting will be here as well and I really want to talk about how we handle organizing the routes because you know I I got dropped very early on because I stopped to use the bathroom and I told a number of people that I was stopping to use the bathroom and I was really surprised that nobody waited and you know this route had a lot of twists and turns and places where people could get lost and I really felt like um, we could have done a better job of making sure that everybody was on the route and everybody was safe you know it's not just a matter of staying on the route but people have mechanicals people get flat tires you know things go wrong with their bikes and I really feel like you know, anything could have happened to anybody and they would have just been left to fend for themselves. And I wasn't the only one who got dropped. You know, after I met up with everybody at the Steel Bridge and we continued on, um, I was riding with Barb and Patty and the three of us got dropped very, very quickly. Um, we looked down at our speedometers. We were going 12, 14 miles an hour and that seems plenty fast to be doing a group ride and so I really want to put on the agenda for our next meeting to talk about you know how we want to um, post the rides and make sure that if if there is you know no criteria to limit the speed of people that are riding that anybody should be able to join these rides and feel like they're going to be taken care of, they're not going to be lost or, you know, have a mechanical and be left on their own. And, you know, I also want to say that this is something that has changed within our group. I've been a member of this group for probably close to 15 years. And until about three years ago, we never lost anybody. Um, I was always part of the slower group, but I never felt like it was a problem. Um, there was always a group that was much faster. They went on ahead. We'd meet at a restaurant and then there were the slow pokes and we always had a really, really good time. And something has changed. I want to say within the last three years, um, I talked about this in a video a couple of years ago and I thought it was an e-assist, not e-assist issue. Um, but because at the time I didn't have e-assist, but now I do and I'm still getting dropped and so um you know if if people want to post rides and they want to have a minimum speed that's perfectly fine but they definitely need to post it otherwise if there is you know no criteria for the ride i think i think it should be the expectation that anybody can join this ride and i personally want to see this group grow I want to see recumbent cycling grow and I would like to have uh, these rides be inclusive. So yeah, so that's kind of what I wanted to just sort of finish off this video with and um, you know, we'll definitely be talking about that at the next meeting uh, in September. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about everything. How was the ride? Uh, what did you think about the route? It was really fun seeing everybody, fun to play the piano. That was kind of unusual. And I want to um, encourage everybody to uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing from everybody. I answer all the comments. Please remain safe and healthy, and I will see you 
in the next video.